Whether it's an old classic brought to the new generation of consoles, or a last gen game given a new coat of polish, we as gamers keep buying remakes. But why do we keep on doing it? Hi everyone, my name is Adzi and welcome to this video. Today we'll be talking about remasters and answer the question, why have they become so popular? Recently, Todd Howard said that if we want Bethesda to stop releasing Skyrim ports, then just don't buy them. Every person and their mother bashes companies like Bethesda for re-releasing the same game on every console imaginable, but they're not to blame. If we stop buying them, developers will stop making them, it's quite simple. But will we ever stop, or will the gaming industry keep on this trend of releasing the same game over and over again? If we take me for example, looking at my collection, a good chunk of them are remakes, whether it be a great remake like the Insane Trilogy or just a bang average one like Dishonored. Some are given massive overhauls while others are nothing but a new coat of paint. The Dark Souls Remaster, a previously near unplayable game on the PS3, saw roughly 70,000 units in Japan in its opening week on PS4. And this is a pretty decent number if you ask me, especially if you take into consideration the lack of enthusiasm for remakes in Japan. Now I know there was some backlash from the fans with this remaster, it being a small upgrade on the original game, and the original game being taken down from Steam, but I think this is a shining example of a remaster done well. The original version on console was close to unplayable for me, with a game running below 30 FPS for a good portion. It gave a new lease of life to a game which many fans of the series had not played and would have had a bad experience on console if they did play. The remake runs at a solid 60fps 1080p on the PS4 and my enjoyment of it has increased because of it. The online component of the game is now filled with people to battle it out in PvP or to help with some jolly cooperation. A good reason for buying these remakes is convenience. I couldn't count the amount of times I've wanted to play an old generation game and wound up not playing it because I was too lazy to set up the console. If we look at Skyrim for example, many people would have had it on PS3 and ran into the exact same problem I had when it released on the new generation. In the mind of consumers, convenience will have a major impact on what we buy. This is why Netflix and Spotify have become the big successes that they are. It's up to you to decide if the rematch of Skyrim warrants a 60 euro price tag, but the convenience mostly affects console players. I found it hard to find sales figures for the console, but on the PC, Skyrim Remaster sold 4.4 million copies. I'm sure it's sold as good on the consoles, if not better. There are plenty of other remakes which have been released in the past couple of years that I find are worth the money. The Uncharted Collection is a compilation of fantastic games which are given a new, shinier coat of paint, and most importantly, a 60fps upgrade, which makes the game so smooth and enjoyable to play. Another great compilation of games is the Bioshock Collection. There are many other remakes like this which upgraded enough to warrant the 60 euro price tag in my opinion. Going back to convenience, it's convenient to have all three Bioshocks on one disc on your current generation console. Bioshock 1 was released all the way back in 2007 and I think it's acceptable to re-release a 10 year old game. It gives a younger generation, like myself because I would have only been 9 when that was released, it gives us a chance to experience a fantastic game, not to mention the also oh important 60fps upgrade. Unfortunately, not everything is all perfect when it comes to remasters. Many of them seem to be cash grabs. Yes, the convenience is there, but sometimes that just isn't enough. The Dishonored so-called Definitive Edition is only a slight upgrade on the last gen version. I don't think convenience warrants a 40 euro price tag, especially for a game that is only 3 years old. I stupidly bought the remake of Dishonored on PS4 on an impulse. I was expecting at least a bump in frame rate, but me being stupid, I didn't research and was very disappointed with it. Don't get me wrong, Dishonored is a brilliant game, but I certainly wouldn't pay 40 euro for convenience. But maybe I'm bashing Dishonored too much. At least with remakes of games like Dishonored and Skyrim, you're getting a great game that you'd know you'd enjoy. This leads me on to answer the question, why do we buy remakes? Well as I just said, we know the exact product that we're buying. 40 or 60 euro is a lot of money to spend. There's a risk involved in buying a new game that we have never played before, and it's a lot safer to walk into a GameStop and buy, say, the Skyrim remaster over a new IP like Vampire. Yes, we can watch reviews of new IPs, and yes, it's great to experience new games, but not all gamers want to experience new games, and not all of them would be clued into which releases are good and which are not. But according to a study done by the Journal of Consumer Research, we as consumers tend to buy familiar products, especially parents and less clued in gamers. Some kids' parents in a GameStop is more likely to buy a game they know their kid would like, rather than gamble on something which they don't know enough about. So this is part of the market that won't be changing anytime soon. Susan will always go into a GameStop and buy Skyrim because she knows her kid loves it. Now we can look at this in depth and economically, but a remaster is supposed to give fans and newcomers a look into how these great older games, which might not have aged well, 
are really just suffering from being stuck with old timey standards things like bad camera issues and horrible graphics and stuff or they can bring a great game to a new and different platform I know I'm bashing Skyrim and Dishonored but they are a good way of getting people who missed out on playing these games on the previous generation to play some great games yes people do like their money to be safe but we can't forget the big N word nostalgia it's plain and simple nostalgia sells copies no matter the quality of the remake or the quality of the original game Many games that I would have had nostalgia for turned out to be so average. Everyone's judgement can be skewed by nostalgia. We look at games from a past through rose tinted glasses. Take COD 4 for example. It was the first Call of Duty I ever played. And I have such fond memories of playing that game for hours on end when it came out. But then the remaster came out. I was so excited for it because I thought, oh this game is so great. But it quickly changed. Terrible spawns and some questionable map designs made the game so frustrating. Getting spawn killed only to spawn 10 meters away from where I died and then getting killed again. Not to mention the cash grab of a 90 euro price tag just to play Modern Warfare and launch. I could go on and on about nostalgia, but we've all been fooled by nostalgia. Pub publishers know it will sell copies and I don't feel the trend will go anytime soon. Personally, I'm enjoying this trend for the most part. Without the rise in the popularity of remakes, we probably wouldn't have games like the Insane Trilogy or Shadow of the Colossus. So anyway, thanks for watching and feel free to continue the discussion in the comments section. And I'll see you all in the next video.